Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word have I hid, O oh God, in my heart. How we determine what our lifestyle is, all right? And that's a, a kind of a broad way of putting it. But I was saying there's a, a real competition between the word and the world, mm -hmm. right? And it has been it has been written into law in the United States of America by more than one ruling, but one ruling in particular from the Supreme Court of the United States. They talked about when they would do uh, it was a uh, Miller versus California case, I think, where they were debating how to determine what is obscene and what's pornographic. And what they finally resolved was, and this is what is now written into the law. As a matter of fact, I have a quote, okay? Why the, don't you quote it? Okay, I think I will. This is, this is a quote from the Supreme Court of the United States. Something is obscene or something is pornographic based on whether the, and this is a quote, whether the average person applying contemporary community standards would find the work taken as a whole appeals to purian interest. So in other words, what they're saying is if the community thinks it's all right, then it's all right. That's the standard of law in the United States of America. Community standard. And I said as we closed, you know, I quoted it a number of times in the book of Judge, Judges. It talks about the fact that when there was no king in Israel, every man did what was right in his own eyes. When they speak of a king, they're talking about the king, the king of kings, the lord of lords, right? And when the people came, the Jewish people came to the prophet Samuel in Ramah and said, give us a king that we might be like the other nations. God said, that's what you want? That's what I'll give you. But he said to Samuel, Samuel, don't you get upset. They haven't rejected, they haven't rejected you. you. They have rejected me as being king over them. Our political system here and basically throughout the world, is a rejection of God being king over us. So therefore, we do whatever is right in our own eyes. Mm -hmm. what, what determines community standards? Well, I'll tell you what com determines community standards. Whatever the majority thinks is best. Majority rules. Majority rules. I mean, that's, that's the community. Whatever the majority of people thinks. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. That would... There's a problem with that, just based on a very simple statement that Jesus made. He said that the, the, the wide is the gate and easy is the road that leads to destruction, and many are those who will follow it. But small is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to life, and few are those who find it. In other words, Jesus is making a flat statement that the majority of people are going to not take the way of the Lord. Right. Okay. So whenever there's a majority, there's a red flag. There's, there should be red flag. Let me just say this. Have you ever heard this description of a, a democracy? Two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. Right. And this country was predicated on the majority knows best. Well, that's the world system. It's not just this country, yeah, but this right. country participates in the world system. The simple fact of the matter is, and I was talking to Alice about this the other day, uh, because we are led by a dictator. Yes. That's correct. Now, that sounds harsh to people, but the simple fact of the matter is, that's the truth. And if you can't handle that truth, I don't know what to tell you. God says it, we do it. That's, right. that's, a, that's by definition a dictator. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that he's a benevolent dictator. Satan has done everything in his power to try and get us to think that dictator in and of itself is evil. And he has put forth people like Mussolini, like, like Hitler, like Stalin. And these are, I mean, ungodly dictators who are, well, that, that's fact, they're evil. But the fact that dictator is not evil, it just depends on whether he's a good dictator or a bad dictator. And there is one good dictator, and that is the Lord God Almighty. We are led by, ruled by his word, whatever he says. It doesn't matter what, what all of the people, what, what people agree on. 
You know, it says, Paul said, let every man be a liar, but the guy be found true. It doesn't matter how many people disagree with God. That's, it's, it's, his, his, his kingship is not up for vote. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is supreme. You're my Lord. You're my God. You're my Savior. King of kings. Lord of lords. Mighty God. Make my life a reflection of your awesome. Perfection, let our glory and honor be yours, my King. Pour out your love.